And now we're off to the battle of David and Goliath at Athol's Oval. It's the Capital Three side Centenary Stormers on a brilliant cup run, taking on the National Premier League's champions from 2013, Olympic. Header on. Roderick. Roderick has come on as a substitute after Ruben Way's gone off injured. And the youngster opens up the scoring for Olympic 1-0. One there by Cumaneo. Barbarousas. On for Roderick. Oh, Roderick has a second in two minutes. Barbarousas plays the ball through for Roderick. Spots his chance past Jonathan Burt. Danny Byrne attempting to go with the corner. Now plays it long. Headed in. That's number three for Olympic. Darren Gray. The defender coming up from the back line and Olympic 3 0 after 20 minutes. Mehenajic for Nokoro and the save by Brandon Cumaneo. Harris. Shot comes in, great save by Brandon Cumaneo. And again, Cumaneo makes the save. Just rolls it out. Barbarousas. It's the ball through. Save there from Jonathan Burt. And the referee's going to rule a penalty. Tim Smith's a judge to have been fouled in the penalty area. Well, that might be tough there on Centenary. If it all isn't tough already... Burt looked to make the challenge cleanly and in his follow through, Tim Smith fell over. Matt Mundy scores the fourth and Olympic 4-0 over Centenary. Shot comes in, Burt makes a save, can't hang on to it. And it's 5-0 to Olympic now. Courtesy of Matt Byrne. Barbarousas on for Matt Byrne. Byrne with a chance to make it a half dozen before half time. Centenary, one of their few chances this first half. They've been ruled offside on this one. Martin for Macario. Centenary crowd looking for the foul, not given by referee Joey Lee. Let's take a look at it. I think there was contact there from Mundy. Gets up to his feet. Now, does the centenary player, Matt Mundy, trying to, a sporting gesture there to Lyndon Harris. Second half action. Centenary, Cumaneo. He's made several crucial saves for Olympic tonight. Burt puts it long. Over the Olympic defence. Kimoneo comes deep again. Does enough to spoil the centenary player. And again, another centenary player down. Centenary, they're doing it tough tonight. I don't think there'll be any second half revival here at Athol's Park. Although they're looking for the consolation goal. Mundy tries to work it out of defence. Shot comes in well over the bar on that occasion. And we've got a, a change here of keepers. Usual first choice Ryan Meskel on for Brandon Cumaneo. Beal. Ball played through. Shot comes in. I think it was Tim Parker. Barbarousas. Referee rules play on. Oh, it's a chip over Jonathan Burt. Number six there for Olympic. It's Jake McLean. Fantastically taken ball, fantastically positioned. Jonathan Burt, he couldn't do anything about that. 
Brophy confronted by Joey Field. Brophy just has to come backwards. On for Martin. And Tess Meskel. Let's take another look at that shot. Yeah, Meskel had something to do on that occasion. Now we're into stoppage time. Burt and referee Joey Lee blows the whistle. Olympic through to the round six. 6-0 winners over the Centenary Stormers here at Athouse Park. 